to have a show that's actually a shooting show. The shooting show is really important to us. I would recommend it to everybody. It, it is a must-see. If you're into shooting, you've got to come to the shooting show. It is probably the largest collection of guns, firearms and clothing that is only shooting related. It's the best shooting show that we've currently got in this country. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2020. In today's episode, I squirt some eye juice in the woods. And we take a look at everybody's favourite quarry with Simon 6 PPC, the humble rat. Looking to stretch the air rifle's legs for the first time this year, a quick sighting round before we start looking for the greys. Uh, no adjustment needed, I think that'll do nicely. For those of you who haven't seen this feeder before, it's been incredibly fruitful for me so far, probably over the last 12 months or so. In fact, I think we've had 30 plus uh, squirrels now from this location. And for those rat hungry junkies that can't wait, don't forget the rat action starts at 8 minutes and 15 seconds into this video. The one good thing about shooting in the winter is that with the foliage being off the trees you can actually see your quarry often coming in from quite a long way out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as next up we've got some of this year's early foxing action coming up for you. Now I know what you might be thinking, why isn't he taking the one on the branch? Well the truth is when you're looking through the scope you have quite a narrow field of view and I shoot typically with my left eye closed so I didn't actually see it. So I was waiting for this one to come up onto the feeder before I took the shot. Although for some unknown reason uh, both of these squirrels turned out to be quite skittish and didn't actually hang around that long before they both scurried off up the tree. I've come to learn it the hard way, but when you're shooting squirrels, patience is very much a virtue in this game. And it's not long before one of them eventually comes back down and settles on the feeder. So after pressing record on what seems like half a million cameras, I settle in to take the shot. With the position of the squirrel, I want to make sure that the shot goes in right close behind the eye to go straight into the brain. 
Having zero checked the rifle, I knew it was going to be pretty pinpoint accurate. And just check out this next slow-mo. You can actually see the pellet doesn't exit the squirrel, it gets stuck in its shoulder. Having already observed the behaviour of several skittish squirrels, I was quite keen to actually take uh, one before it made it up onto the feeder to build the bag, because they were a couple kicking about, none of them um, were sticking to the normal routine of staying on the feeder. But, guess who made the rookie mistake of not loading another pellet? So as you can see here, I actually go and squeeze the trigger and realise you haven't loaded it you silly sod so I gingerly and try and quietly cock the lever back and get ready to take the shot but unfortunately the squirrel has other ideas Another one comes, and another one goes, and then one of the green keepers decides he needs to do some work just behind the feeder. Great. Well, I guess they'll be here for another time. Well, for whatever reason, the squirrels aren't playing ball today. We've got one on the deck, and I guess one's better than none, so I think now it's time to pop over and see Simon to kill a few of everybody's favourite quarry, the rat. Using his HW100 in 177 and 10.34 grain JSB pellets, Simon is able to put these critters down with pinpoint accuracy. Although when shooting quarry that's much closer than your zero, you need to make sure that you hold a little bit over as the pellet is still travelling up to the zero point as demonstrated here, as the pellet travels a little bit lower than expected. Having said that, Simon soon corrects that mistake with some absolute pinpoint accuracy in between these two beams on the floor here.
using the same rifle now but switching to the PARD 007 and using Simon's Frontier 2.5 to 50 scope he's helping Lassie out by taking a few of these dancing critters out from underneath the dog kennel. An absolutely cracking shot to finish off with I think you'll agree hopefully we will see a little bit more from Simon a little later in the year don't forget to subscribe for more videos and stay up to date with the instant action on Instagram at team underscore Foxer take care stay safe and as always happy shooting